Hello all and welcome to this. This is a response to uh, Pico, what we talked about in my live stream about showing off like our top five, top ten favorite cards. Um, then I was going through my cards and I was like, well, I have more than five or ten actually. So this is mostly like non-wrestling because I don't really show these off a lot. So we'll start with a few wrestling and then we'll go to the other sports. Um, I showed these during the, or this one during the live stream. This is probably my favorite card ever. The uh, Undisputed Era Triple with that awesome color background. Two of ten. Got this in a trade. And then the Undisputed Era Triple from Undisputed. What the hell is the number? Uh, down there. Nine of ten. And then the famous Randy Becky kiss card. Randy Becky. Because Randy bought me this box. Got in the sweet one touch. Oh, you can see my reflection. Uh, three of ten. And then this is one of my Holy Grail cards. It took me like two years of searching to find. Focus, there you go. I think this is the original one I bought. Because I actually have two of these now. Because they just, like, were never on eBay ever. 18 of 25. Undisputed 2016. <laughs> Bailey. I wanted this card forever. I would search eBay, like, all the time. At least two or three times a week. Finally found it. Alright, so let's go to the non-wrestling stuff. This is pretty sweet. Lazy Booking sent this to me. If you watch the Impractical Jokers, if you know me, you know Q's my favorite. Alan and Ginter, a.k.a. Ginter, what it's really called. But we call it Ginter. I don't remember why it's a 10. But it's a Brian Quinn shirt relic. Love Q. Alright, let's go hockey. Couple of Brodeur cards I got. I believe this one. Well, I know this one's definitely from CSB. So you got the uh, this thing on the back. Anthology. One of the worst hockey sets there is because there's no logos. So if the player played for multiple teams, you have to check the checklist to see what the hell team it goes to. And I think this is another CSB hit. A Brodeur. 17 of 25. Cup coronations. Nothing really going on in the back. But I like that card. I think I'm pretty sure that's a CSB hit. And then this one I got on eBay. But just a sexy looking card. Marty Brodeur. Triple Mem. From National Treasures. I don't think it's numbered. Or I can't find it. Yeah, it's not numbered. But I don't remember how much I paid for it, but the price was low enough to where my cheap ass actually bought it. Here's another Devil's Hit. This is something that uh, I never thought I would have a card from the Cup. Uh, Randy had the Devils in some sort of like multi-sport break. Hand numbered 11 of 14, Adam Henrique. Love Adam Henrique. And... Uh, yeah, Randy doesn't obviously like the Devils, but this is this is not a cheap card. Cuz like the cup is like the most expensive product like in hockey. So even if it was like a, a scrub player, this would be awesome, but it's fucking Adam Henrique, so love it. All right. Here's my Nico collection. Start off with a card I got at the National two years ago. 31 of 199 from Exquisite. This rookie. The good thing about, the only good thing about, you know, Nico not being a McDavid or a Matthews is that his cards were cheaper. Here's an eBay card. Most of these are eBay. Uh, Nolan Patrick, Nico, Duel. So far, Nico's been better, so thank God. 
not numbered. I'll save the best one for last. And there, I went on a spree of trying to find a bunch of these, and Joe gave me one of these. I don't remember which one Joe gave me. Sneak out 11 of 35. Signature patch. Here's Nico's 1 of 35. I think at one point these were going so cheap for a, a patch sig that I was like, maybe I could just get all 35 of them. But there's like, here's another out of the 35. 30 out of the 35. There's nothing on the back. I haven't looked in a while, but then there was this one. Three of three. There's... I don't really know. Oh, yeah. I think it's... Actually, I don't know what the real difference is. Look at that. That patch belongs on the three of three. So it's like tops in their shirt relics. They'll do a 199 shirt relic with like four colors and then a to five shirt relic with like two colors. Makes no sense. There's those. And then one more Nico with a patch. It's the laundry tag. Eight of ten. See, that, that seems like it would be out of five or one of one. But surprisingly, that was cheap enough where I could afford it. And then one more Nico. The Nico I found uh, at the National. The story was I saw it. Finally, Joe and I were looking forever. Joe was trying to help me out. And I saw it, and I was like, oh, man, that's beautiful. There's no way I can afford this. How much is it? And the guy threw out a price that was ridiculously low, and I, was, I didn't even haggle. Four of seven signature series patch. The first Nico card I bought. I think I bought this before that exquisite. Either way, it's the first autograph. Four out of seven. Random ass numbering. Ultimate rookie signature patch. From Leaf. Man, making this video is a mistake. Now I want to go on eBay and find all the Nico cards I can. Even though... I don't have any money to waste. I showed this in a live stream too. This was from a CSB Father's Day pack. It's a really weird card because it's like bent. I don't know if you can really tell. But I opened it. I was like, oh, cool, like a cracked ice, whatever. Didn't notice because the autograph sort of blends in. But it's an Anthony Davis rookie autograph. Not numbered. But it was from the Father's Day packs. So I don't even know what this is worth. Then I got this card at the National. Any Yankees fans out there, I actually would be willing to sell this. Three of five, Mariano Rivera. Like, I always wanted a Mariano card because, like, his autograph is just so clean and awesome. But after all the stuff where he was, like, a, he's a big-time Trump supporter, I was just kind of like, whatever. So if I could make some money, I would sell this card. But it's an absolute legend. And then here's the card I couldn't find last night. Sterling Bowman 2014, I think. Yeah, this was the most fun we've had in CSB. I had the Bucks. It was like two teams for like 15 bucks or something like that. It was something ridiculously cheap, 20 bucks, whatever. And uh, they pulled this. So I had to random it. Alex and I were watching in my room, and uh, it hit the bu it hit me. So I got this card, fifteen of forty four. Mike Evans, Sammy Watkins dual autograph. Mike Evans still on the Bucks. Sammy Watkins is uh, bounced around a little bit, but uh, probably one of my best CSB hits because I didn't really hit a lot. But my best is coming up. Second to last card. I bought this on eBay. Never was able to hit one. But it's a Michael C. Hall, Christian Camargo, Dexter Morgan, Brian Moser, a.k.a. Biney. From, I want to say, Season 1, 2014. I think that's, nope, not even close. <laughs> season 5 and 6. Michael C. Hall had autographs, I think, in every set. And then they would jump back and forth. It's a, it's a very weird-looking sticker, but it fits on this card. And it gives the room uh, gives them room to sign it a lot. So, I love that card. And last but not least, 
probably the most valuable card I hit from CSB. I had to pay for the spot for the Giants, and then I had to buy the other guy out of his Seattle Seahawks spot to get this without doing a random. Saquon Barkley, Rashad Penny, Origins Booklet. I don't know, for some reason, I was back on CSB. For some reason, I thought I had the money to waste. I think I hit a Kyle Laletta in there, too, somewhere. But 10 of 10. I just really, really wanted a Saquon card. And the one time I bought into a break looking for something specific, it actually hit. I think it would be more valuable if it was just Saquon, because Rashad Penny... Uh, I don't, he's not absolutely abysmal, but, you know, he's not anything. But it's a sweet book. Don't really have too many. So that is the end of this video. So if you're watching this, check out Pigos. We the Pico. Check out anyone else who has uh, done this video. And then make your own. And we can sort of, do, sort of do like a chain and see everyone's favorite cards.